Welcome back to my channel, where we explore the art of frugal living and minimalism. I want to share the top 10 things I've decided not to buy this year as part of my frugal minimalism journey. So, grab a cup of tea, and let's dive in. 1. New Clothing The fashion industry bombards us with new trends and styles every season, enticing us to update our wardrobes constantly. However, I've realized that this perpetual cycle of buying new clothes drains our wallets and has a significant environmental impact. By resisting the urge to purchase new clothing, I'm taking a stand against the consumer-driven culture and embracing a more sustainable approach. Instead of constantly seeking the latest fashion trends, I'm focusing on appreciating and utilizing what I already have in my wardrobe. I've rediscovered hidden gems and learned to style old pieces creatively, giving them a fresh and updated look. This decision has helped me save money and reduced my contribution to the textile waste crisis. The fashion industry is known for its fast-paced production and high turnover, which leads to immense amounts of clothing ending up in landfills. By extending the lifespan of my existing wardrobe, I'm actively participating in reducing this waste and minimizing my environmental footprint. 2. Fast Food Fast food is an everyday indulgence that many of us fall into due to its convenience and immediate satisfaction. However, as part of my frugal minimalism journey, I've decided to eliminate fast food from my expenses this year. Not only does it save me a significant amount of money, but it also has numerous health benefits. By cutting out fast food, I'm taking control of my nutrition and focusing on preparing homemade meals. Cooking at home allows me to choose fresh, wholesome ingredients and tailor my meals to meet my dietary needs. It promotes a healthier lifestyle and reduces the risks associated with consuming processed and unhealthy fast food options. In addition to health benefits, avoiding fast food contributes to financial savings. The costs of eating out can quickly add up, especially if done frequently. By planning and preparing my meals at home, I can allocate my food budget more efficiently, ensuring I get the most value for my money. It also encourages mindful grocery shopping, where I can prioritize essential ingredients and avoid unnecessary impulse purchases. 3. Excessive Home Decor In my journey towards frugal minimalism, I'm focusing on resisting the temptation of excessive home decor purchases. It's easy to get caught up in the allure of trendy pieces and constantly changing interior design trends. However, this year, I'm choosing to appreciate the beauty of simplicity and embrace a more minimalistic approach to decorating my home. By refraining from buying excessive home decor, I'm saving money and creating a serene and clutter-free living space. Instead of constantly adding new items, I'm consciously evaluating what I already have and finding joy in its simplicity. By decluttering and organizing, my home feels more spacious, peaceful, and easier to maintain. Rather than chasing after the latest home decor fads, I'm focusing on creating a timeless and cohesive aesthetic that genuinely reflects my style. It means carefully creating items that hold sentimental value or serve a specific purpose rather than accumulating decorative pieces for appearance. To satisfy my creative urges without overspending, I'm exploring budget-friendly alternatives such as upcycling or repurposing existing items in my home. DIY projects have become a fulfilling way to add a personal touch to my living space while staying true to my frugal mindset. 4. Single-Use Plastics As part of my frugal minimalism journey, one thing I'm avoiding this year is single-use plastics. These everyday items like plastic water bottles, cutlery, and shopping bags are designed for one-time use and then discarded. While they may seem convenient, they contribute significantly to environmental pollution and waste. By refusing to buy single-use plastics, I'm reducing my ecological footprint and saving money in the long run. Instead of relying on disposable water bottles, I carry a reusable water bottle wherever I go. Not only does this save me from constantly buying bottled water, but it also ensures that I have access to clean drinking water wherever I am. Similarly, I've invested in reusable cutlery and carry it in a small pouch, so I never have to resort to plastic forks, spoons, or straws when eating out or getting takeout. It's a simple change that has significantly reduced my waste and saved me from spending unnecessary money on disposable utensils. 5. Impulse Buys As part of my frugal minimalism journey, one of the key areas I'm focusing on is avoiding impulse buys. We've all been guilty of succumbing to the allure of shiny new things or making spontaneous purchases on a whim. However, this year, I'm challenging myself to be more mindful and intentional with my spending. Impulse buys can quickly add up and derail our financial goals. Those unplanned purchases may seem harmless, 
but they often sit unused or forgotten. By resisting the urge to give in to impulsive desires, I'm able to save money and allocate my resources toward things that truly matter to me. To combat impulse buying, I've implemented a few strategies. First, I take the time to pause and reflect before making a purchase. I ask myself if I genuinely need the item or if it aligns with my long-term goals and values. This simple step helps me differentiate between true needs and fleeting desires. 6. Subscription Services Subscription services have become increasingly popular in recent years, offering everything from streaming platforms to meal kits and beauty boxes. However, as I embark on my frugal minimalism journey, I have consciously decided to cut back on these services. Why, it's all about evaluating their true value and aligning them with my priorities. Subscription services may seem affordable individually, but they can quickly accumulate, causing a strain on our finances. By reevaluating my subscriptions, I can identify the ones I don't fully utilize or don't bring significant value to my life. It allows me to free up extra funds for other meaningful investments or experiences. Moreover, reducing subscription services also aligns with the minimalist philosophy of simplifying our lives. Instead of being bombarded with many choices, I'm streamlining my entertainment, meal planning, and self-care routines. It reduces decision fatigue and creates a sense of intentional living, where I'm actively choosing what truly matters to me. 7. Beauty and Skincare Products Beauty and skincare products can be a significant expense, often tempting us with promises of flawless skin and endless beauty. However, as part of my frugal minimalism journey, I have decided to refrain from buying excessive beauty and skincare products this year. Instead of succumbing to the allure of new releases and fancy packaging, I am utilizing what I already have in my collection. By using up the products I own, I am saving money and practicing gratitude for what I have. This mindset shift helps me appreciate the items I've invested in rather than constantly seeking something new. Additionally, I am reducing waste by refraining from buying unnecessary beauty and skincare products. Many products come in plastic packaging and contain potentially harmful chemicals. I am making a small but meaningful contribution to environmental sustainability by minimizing my consumption. It doesn't mean I neglect self-care or skincare altogether. On the contrary, I prioritize quality over quantity. I carefully research and select products that align with my values and skin needs. Investing in high-quality products makes me confident I get the most out of my purchases without constant experimentation. 8. Brand New Electronics In today's fast-paced world, technology advancements are constant, and staying up to date with the latest gadgets and devices is tempting. However, embracing frugal minimalism means adopting a more mindful approach toward our purchases. Rather than succumbing to the desire for the newest and shiniest electronic gadgets, I'm choosing to make the most of what I already own. Instead of upgrading my smartphone or buying the latest gaming console, I'm focusing on maximizing the functionality and lifespan of my current electronics. Repairing or refurbishing devices allows me to save money and reduce electronic waste. In addition to being a cost-effective choice, opting for refurbished or second-hand electronics is also environmentally responsible. By giving pre-owned devices a second chance, I contribute to reducing the demand for new electronic products, which require valuable resources and energy. Moreover, this decision allows me to evaluate the necessity of each purchase more critically. I ask myself whether I genuinely need a new device or if it's more of a desire driven by marketing and societal pressure. By practicing mindful consumption, I save money and prioritize sustainable living by reducing my carbon footprint. 9. Coffee Shop Drinks one of the things I'm not buying this year as part of my frugal minimalism journey is coffee shop drinks. While grabbing a fancy coffee on the go can be tempting, it can also strain our wallets in the long run. Instead, I've consciously decided to make my coffee at home. Investing in a quality coffee machine and exploring different brewing methods, I've discovered that I can still enjoy delicious and satisfying brews without breaking the bank. Not only am I saving money, but I also have the freedom to customize my drinks to suit my taste preferences. Making coffee at home allows me to be more mindful of my consumption and appreciate the process. I can experiment with various flavors, adjust the strength of my coffee, and even try out latte art if I feel adventurous. Additionally, by making my coffee at home, I've reduced my reliance on single-use cups and contributed to a more sustainable lifestyle. I use a reusable mug or travel tumbler, which helps the environment and adds a personal touch to my daily coffee routine. 10. Excessive Gifting 
While giving gifts can be an excellent way to show appreciation and love, going overboard with lavish or unnecessary presents can strain our budgets and the environment. Instead of mindlessly buying gifts for the sake of it, I'm choosing to adopt a more thoughtful and mindful approach. Meaningful gestures hold more value than material possessions. By shifting my perspective, I'm emphasizing the importance of quality over quantity. Rather than purchasing extravagant items, I'm exploring alternative ways to express my love and gratitude. It may include spending quality time with loved ones, creating personalized DIY gifts, or engaging in activities that hold sentimental value. These acts of kindness can foster deeper connections and create lasting memories. It's important to remember that the value of a gift lies in the sentiment behind it rather than its monetary worth. By prioritizing meaningful gestures and experiences, I'm aligning my actions with my frugal and minimalistic values and cultivating more meaningful and fulfilling relationships with the people who matter most to me. And there you have it, my list of 10 things I'm not buying this year is I embrace frugal minimalism. Remember, living a frugal lifestyle doesn't mean depriving ourselves but finding value and contentment in what truly matters. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more.